KSB number two is to solve the rotation time in milliseconds for the rotation of the flipper. So the player is given the instructions that they are to um, calculate the rotation time in milliseconds, um, having been given the value that uh, the rotation is about four degrees per millisecond, and they can see this uh, protractor that's here on the on the sim for their use to do these calculations. So the objective is to the ball's going to be released and roll down the table and hit this rail and come down to the flipper and the player is to hit these two targets as many times as they can there are 10 balls remaining when the ball hits the bottom rail down here as it goes past the flipper or comes down this side then um, that that ball attempt is over and a new ball will be um, generated up here in the left hand corner and then the player can put in a different rotation value and hit the enter key which releases the ball and then activate the flipper so I'm going to do that I'm going to say uh, let's say I'm going to use a value of um, 28 milliseconds which is going to give me about 112 degrees of rotation I hit enter and that releases the ball and now I use the control key to move, activate the flipper and I, I hit two targets so I have a thousand points for each target that I hit unfortunately the ball went down uh, past the flipper so that attempt is over and I have a new ball spawned up here so now I can put in a different value I'm gonna put in um, let's say uh, some really high amount like 270 uh, milliseconds so what's going to happen when I put in 270 which is way more rotation um, than my flipper could possibly make is the flipper is going to be constrained but what will happen is the flipper will move faster and with greater velocity so if I wanted to have a flipper that's harder con to control but can generate a lot more velocity then I can increase the rotation time so now I will hit enter and then wait for the ball to come down and use the control key to activate the flipper If I should badly underestimate the amount of time of rotation that's needed, like let's say I'm going to put in 5 milliseconds, so that's only going to give me about 20 degrees of rotation. That's not even going to be enough to um, practically hit the ball. I'll hit enter. And I didn't even, didn't even have enough rotation to generate the ball back up the table. So I have the same camera controls that I had in KSB1 where I can pan left and right and up and down. I can zoom out and zoom in. And the objective is to accumulate as many points as I can with these 10 attempts, uh, 10 ball loads that I have, because this score is going to be carried forward, added to my score from the previous KSB into the third KSB, and all of my total points will go into giving me increased features and uh, ball attempts when I'm playing the real pinball game that I make.